Hey, what's up, everybody? So, got some news for you guys on the ASI, the Artificial Super Intelligence Alliance, actually. But the ASI token, that kind of sounds like an evil corporation. I think a bunch of people have said that, but I mean, it really does, saying it out loud. Anyway, we got some news on ASI for you. Today, July 1st, it's merger day. Uh, it started uh, two phases. There's phase one and phase two. We're going to get into that. We're going to get into what you got to do, when you got to wait, what you got to wait for. If you are waiting, take a look at the price of FET and look at that little Coinbase. Uh, well, some people saw it as a debacle, but the Coinbase stand on what's going on. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up. If you want more content like this and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. Both those help the videos out. So we're just going to kick it off here with the phases, kind of a just straightforward approach to it. Going to look at their Twitter and then hop into uh, a little more detailed version of what's going on here. Hopefully help some of you guys out because it is a little bit confusing. So phase one begins today, July 1st. Uh, project name and logos updated. I've checked on a couple of the coin tracking websites and that has happened um, to artificial super intelligence ASI uh, with... with um, one thing, the ticker is still FET, F-E-T, it's not ASI. I, I don't know if that's going to be changing soon or later or at all, but right now it's still F-E-T, the FET token. So deposits and withdrawals for AGIX and Ocean will close in preparation for the migration. So you got your Singularity.net and your Ocean protocol all merging into the Fetch AI uh, blockchain, uh, where they're going to combine there and use that blockchain as their main blockchain, and that's why it's still the FET token. Uh, just because that's the blockchain they're using. However, the name, like I said, has already been updated. So FET deposits, withdrawals, and trading will continue as usual. So no interruption if you've got the FET token, and, and it looks like that's still the case right now. Migration platform for AGIX and Ocean to FET opens on the Singularity DAO DAP. Okay, so that's how you can trade there. Uh, switch those tokens out. The AGIX and Ocean... Um, platforms will begin to be delisted or tokens I should say begin to be delisted from exchanges and some of them are doing that like I said Coinbase has it's it's not really a debacle or snafu Coinbase has just cho chosen not to do this yet so most of them are in the process of that right now if they haven't already some even started a couple days ago spot and perpetual trading will continue under the FET ticker so the FET token just basically remains untouched and you guys trade for the one-to-one -one or well FETs one-to-one -to, -one to ASI the others are a little bit different, but they're, they're pretty close to that too. And that, by the way, should be open for years to come apparently uh, per the ASI team, which we can't really get on their Twitter and I'll show you why in a second. Um, but, but if you guys are, are holding these and in a year or two, you just don't have access to something or you don't know what to do and you realize you forgot maybe to do it, you can still come back and swap those out probably through that uh, Singularity DAO DAP or whatever they end up coming up with on ASI. I'm not sure what the future will look like there. So phase two continues from mid-July on. I'm not sure the exact date of this one. Uh, but first, we've got network upgrades. Fetch AI's network will be upgraded to the ASI network. Okay. Uh, ASI deployment. The ASI token will be deployed across chains, so other chains as well, um, particularly maybe Cardano or Layer 2 or something like that, I would suppose. Conversions open for self custodied assets, and that's when you're going to probably do a lot of the conversions if you guys are holding them yourself, especially if you're wanting them on, on like I said, a Cardano chain or something like that. New migration contracts introduced uh, for conversion from FET, AGIX, and Ocean to ASI. Okay, so we get some new contracts, sure. EVM and other bridges will open for ASI token transfers. Okay. Uh, exchange migration. Exchange will begin migrating spot markets from FET to ASI. So basically just the end phase is the cleanup there for phase two. So as far as I know, everything in phase one is going smoothly right now. And phase two, I would imagine, is pretty smooth as well. Going over to Fetch AI's Twitter, because it seems to be the, the easiest one for me to follow anyway. Um, the And I'll actually show you guys here. Um, I'll go to their account. It is gone. So there was an ASI account here, and it's, it's just not working right now. Uh, and actually, let me get to their. That was a post they had linked. It's gone. Fetch AI linked it. And their uh, ASI underscore alliance is, is how you find them on X. It's gone. Apparently, it was, I'm not quite sure what happened here, but it looks like it was reverted back to the Singularity Net. So there's a little issue there. They're working with X or Twitter, whoever you want to call them, to fix this. And that should be back at some point, uh, hopefully soon. But anyway, you guys can follow that post, find it here on fetch.ai's um, X. And if you want to follow them, it's fetch underscore AI. 
and you can find out all the little updates here and, and what they've been talking about. And they, they've been putting some decent information out, but basically announcing that uh, you can uh, go ahead and trade on Singularity Dallas DAP and switch your AGX and Ocean over to FET. So that is good news if you guys are doing that. And we'll get into that because if you uh, hold any of this on Coinbase, that's what you're going to have to do. So remember that. Come back here and figure all that out for, for uh, what you got. Uh, just going to Binance. This is honestly the best information I found here was on Binance. And I'm not going to read the whole article. I'll actually link this down below for you guys just because it was pretty clean. Uh, but we'll we'll start reading and we'll just skip things when we get bored with it here. Uh, yep, so we're coming July 1st. It is July 1st now. Uh, there, This is a good point to, to talk about. Watch out for scams. Don't follow a bunch of links that you see on Twitter because people plan for this. Scammers plan for this. They will set fake websites up, fake posts, fake X accounts. They'll look real and they'll say, you've got to do this to make the swaps happen. So be careful. Really think about what you're clicking before you go click it. You shouldn't be going to any website. You shouldn't be linking a wallet at this point. Besides Singularity DAO stuff, you shouldn't be going to any random website to do it, especially if you have FET token. Don't worry if you've got FET token. You just sit on that thing. It's fine. That That is the token. That is the new token, the FET token. Okay, that being said, um, hopefully nobody gets scammed here. I really can't tell you guys enough to be careful what you're clicking on. So the first phase uh, is migrating the tokens. Yep, we read that. Um, from the respective chains, you can wait uh, if you're on Cardano or Polygon. We kind of brought that up earlier, and that'll be more of a phase two issue. Uh, so a couple weeks, three weeks, whatever it might be. Uh, Rebranding to ASI, artificial super intelligence on major platforms. Looks like that's happened for the most part, and it will still be the FET ticker. We hit all that. Yep. Uh, logos updated. Some withdrawals of close. Some are remained open for FET, for example. Trading's all all FET trading should be open. Uh, so here's here's a good one. Uh, moreover, token holders with funds on centralized exchanges like Binance, of course, this is put out by Binance. I think KuCoin, um, MXC, a few others are, are the same way. Uh, but check with your, your centralized exchange before you jump in. Uh, let's get back at this. So moreover, token holders with funds on centralized exchanges like Binance need not take action. Their Ocean and AGIX tokens will automatically convert to VET convert to FET at the appropriate ratio on July 1st today. So go check, make sure it's done. It should be. This is followed by, uh, this will be followed by a smooth transition to ASI in mid July. So that's when FET goes to ASI. <clears throat> excuse me, officially individual holdings, excuse me, individuals holding their funds in self custody across the Ethereum mainnet will receive detailed guides and tutorials to facilitate a hassle free transition. Cool. Uh, guides, uh, tutorials are great. Uh, crypto can be confusing. Phase two will focus on community member onboarding, particularly those who have opted to self custody their funds. Additionally, the ASI token will be deployed across chains. Uh, Fetch AI's network will be upgraded to SI. Let's see. Furthermore, new migration. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, so they're gonna, yep, the bridges. We talked about that. So basically, uh, everything we talked about with a lot more words here um, than that little chart that we saw. So just, just be careful. Again, they, they emphasize that there aren't malicious actors out there, scammers that are trying to get your money. So be careful. Don't jump into anything. You guys got time. You don't have to worry uh, worry about rushing into this. All right, mentioned Coinbase. I almost made a video about this, but it was kind of, it wasn't a, a whole lot of information put out. So I figured this is a good spot to put it in. Coinbase has opt out of the ASI token migration. They're still going to support FET. And in fact, they're still supporting Ocean, at least for some period of time. I don't know how long. Uh, but right now they're supporting both. They're just not switching the tokens for you. I'm not quite sure why. They've got their own reasons. They do say that you can use their own wallet, the Coinbase wallet, to custody your own funds and switch it in there. Of course, you can also use whatever wallet you want to use for it and, and do the switch that way of supported wallets, of course. So that's what's going on there. Um, they're well aware of the transition. FET's still going to be trading. They're not getting rid of it. They're just not helping you. So just know that you have to do it you have to go into that singularity dow dap you got to change it there unless there's in the future some other way that they bring out that makes it even easier for you to do it which they're very well maybe so that's what you're doing here uh i suggest if you want to get asi on your user coinbase you can still just buy fet at what's the difference uh just know that it it should actually say asi now i would imagine but if it doesn't, FET token is still the FET token. It doesn't change. That's what they're supporting on Coinbase. And that's what the ASI token is, or the, the artificial super intelligence token is, is just the FET token. The ticker is still FET. 
So a little confusing, FET equals ASI. That's all you need to know though. So if you're looking at using it on Coinbase uh, or buying it on Coinbase, you still can, uh, FET AI. I wouldn't buy Ocean personally because that's getting migrated and changed out. Um, but if you're looking to buy or, or sell it, you know, whatever, FET token is still what you want. So with that said, let's take a look at what's going on with the price action here. So over the last week, it looks like we've actually been down a bit. This comes from coin market cap, but there is something I want to point out right here over at the top, right? If you guys can see this new logo and we have artificial super intelligence listed. So we've already had a transition here, which is great. And going back to the month, we're down. What were we down on the week? Uh, 4% down 35% on the month. Uh, really since that big announcement honestly is what happened here still oh my gosh look at that 480 percent up on the year and then we're only down three percent today but uh, maybe we're, we're we're starting to to level out here bitcoin's been doing a little bit better lately and we did a bitcoin pullback so that could be honestly the real reason for this uh, going over to the trading view chart here you see that asi is and i'll turn off these emas that asi is hiding under its bull market support band not usually a great spot either means we're going down or usually sideways for a minute we we did it right here for a bit um anytime you've gone under you usually have to test uh get a bounce and then you, then you can maybe stay above it uh, now this chart doesn't go back incredibly far i mean the project's not super old but it should go back a little further i think anyway looking at this we, we lost the bull market support bands here in about may of 23 and let's just see how many weeks we stayed under now we can just go to this one it was a about 24 weeks so we're looking at maybe five months there five and a half months probably depending on, on how we really calculate that uh, i don't think that's quite six months but it's it's pushing up that way so looking over here i mean just to say just let's just say if we repeated that up to 24 bars and i don't think we will it of course is possible that would put us into november um there, there's nothing saying that we have to stay that long under the bull market support bands but it does mean that we're gonna have to battle to get above it so if we want to see ASI uh, moving anywhere to the upside, I think we're going to need to see some fighting here at the 1.72 or even 2.1, uh, $2.10 range. But if I bring up those EMAs, you can see we're actually holding, fairly decently holding the uh, 50 week EMA right here and bouncing off that. So if we can hold that, I think that uh, we're well positioned to, or, or the ASI token, FET token, uh, ASI project is well positioned to probably have a battle here at the bull market support bands. And of course, those bull market support bands are gonna turn to the downside and they are gonna start moving down this way. So eventually the price of, of, of FET, if, even if it just stays flat, is gonna move sideways and eventually hit its own bull market support band. And once it hits there, typically hitting it and holding it as support, getting through and coming back and testing, holding it as support, gives you a really good bounce up, uh, just like you saw over here uh, in this area right here tested got above it gave it a little test came back used it as support and then we bounced and we went to the upside here uh, as you guys can see pretty good run up let's see in, in fact what that was just from where we tested right here uh yeah about a 500 nearly 600 percent run up so a lot of good things could happen here i think the project um i think there's three good projects coming together i i have some questions on how they're going to act who's going to be leading it um, certain things going on within the project, but uh, I don't think it's a bad thing either. So I think there's a promising future in front of these guys, uh, the ASI, the artificial super intelligence. We'll just have to see where they go. I will do one thing here real quick. We'll go into the daily and you can see that uh, our battle here is a little different. We got some different EMAs. Uh, we're actually battling with the 200 day EMA here and we really, FET token really needs to get above that. Um, we've got some of the other ones pulling down too, but we you got to get above the bull market support bands here because we were just recently rejected right here and not a, not a great thing to see, but another test. And if we can hold it, okay, now you're looking good. Anyway, that's where we stand there, guys. I, I do think there's a bright future in front of ASI. This is probably honestly a good, good buying point, uh, from the absolute peak. I know we're cherry picking here down to where we're at now though. Uh, we're, you're down 61%. So a uh, pretty good retracement there. Uh, personally, I think that's a decent zone to start buying in. Let's see what that one, that one big dip we had right here was just, this is rough. This isn't perfect science. You're looking at 68% on that retracement. So uh, much better than buying the top. At least if you believe in the project, uh, might be a great time. 
can't tell you what the future holds, but, but that's what you guys got. So hopefully this video was helpful. If you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up, help spread the video around, help get this information out there for anybody who's confused on this stuff. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button right next to it. All right, guys, thanks. And I'll see you in the next one.